How much peanut butter can a dog have? Peanut butter has long been a mainstay in our homes. It's easy to reach for this high protein spread over and over to satisfy picky eaters or as part of a quick meal. Now more and more pet owners are reaching for that jar for their dogs to hide a pill or fill a toy to keep them entertained. But is it as healthy for our dogs as it is for us? So how much peanut butter can a dog have? Well, a half a teaspoon or 2.5 milliliters per 10 pounds of your dog's weight per day with a cap of one tablespoon or 15 milliliters. That's an amount that's typically safe. Don't give them the full amount right away just to start though, or it could make your dog ill because too much fat too soon can cause pancreatitis. Use a brand that contains only peanuts and a bit of salt. Beware of the sweetener xylitol as even a small amount of this is toxic to dogs. Whether or not peanut butter is safe for a dog is a serious concern. Let's take a look at this useful food from every possible angle for the health and well-being of your dog. How much is safe, how to use it, what ingredients to watch out for, and even if you should weigh cancer as a concern. Peanut butter ingredients that are bad for dogs. Xylitol is an alcohol sugar more likely to be found, believe it or not, in the healthier peanut butters. No amount of xylitol is acceptable for a dog of any size. This stuff is so toxic to dogs that even a small amount can be fatal. According to Dr. Lee Pickett, xylitol poisons dogs in two ways. It induces liver failure and it releases insulin, which lowers blood sugar levels enough to cause a loss of coordination, seizures, and death. Now there's no specific antidote, but immediate veterinary care is often successful at saving the dog's life. Sugars, including corn syrup, are better avoided. So are added fats. These aren't necessarily deal breakers if you're just going to give your dog a little peanut butter occasionally. If he's having some every day though, you really should consider upgrading to a purer brand. This infographic sums up good versus bad peanut butter ingredients at just a glance. What happens if the dog eats too much peanut butter? A main concern for any consumer of peanut butter is that too much would cause weight gain. An additional problem with dogs specifically is that this much fat can dangerously overtax their digestive systems, especially the pancreas. Can I fill a Kong toy with peanut butter? You know, I thought this was such a cute idea until I found out that people were completely filling one or even more Kong toys with peanut butter every single day to keep their dogs busy while in their crates, you know, while the owner's at work. Certainly peanut butter is healthy in moderation, but the fact is peanut butter is a condiment, not a course. What would you think of a parent who left a small child sitting sedentary eating a little dish of peanut butter every single day? Of course none of us would do that. So let's reframe our use of peanut butter for our dogs. If we look at it as a condiment instead of a side dish, it does scuttle a lot of those health concerns. After all, your dog can't gain weight from it if he's only having a small amount. So instead of having a huge amount of peanut butter in a con toy every day, use a small amount and spread it up more. Keep it fun by swapping out that con toy for a licky mat every other time. In fact, I love this two pack of licky mats because having an extra one gives the first a chance to get through the dishwasher and dry completely before the next use, reducing the chance of hazardous bacteria formation. And same thing with your con toy. You really want it to dry out before you use it again. Anyway, I've linked to the two pack of licky mats down in the description in case you want to take a look. This is an affiliate link, by the way, which is a great concept if you're not familiar with it. It means that if you click over to Amazon from any of my links and buy anything at that time or within like a half an hour, whether it's a licky mat or a laptop or your weekly grocery shopping, Amazon pays me a tip on your behalf and it doesn't cost you a penny extra. Amazing, huh? Take it slow if you're introducing your dog to peanut butter for the first time. Dr. Demian Dressler says that some dogs will get an inflamed pancreas from peanut butter because of the fat content. Other dogs take peanut butter and to them it's nothing. So make sure you start with a small amount of peanut butter, say a half a teaspoon a day. Then make sure there's no vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, or any other strange reactions, which would be kind of unusual because peanut allergies aren't that common in dogs, although they do exist. So anyway, do that on the first day, and then the next day you can work your way up to three quarters of a teaspoon, and then maybe even go up to a teaspoon and a half. Of course, this is all going to depend on the size of your dog. 
This graph spells out a simple plan for introducing peanut butter into your dog's diet safely and cautiously. If you visit the companion article I wrote to go with this video, you can look up your dog's weight on this chart and find the plan that's just right for him. That's over at greyhoundhomecare.com and it's linked below in the description. The best peanut butter for dogs. Don't worry, there's no need for an exhaustive link of every peanut butter out there. This is very, very simple. Dr. Susan Wynn says it best. If you're going to use peanut butter to give your dog treats or medicine, which many people do, it should only have peanuts, salt, and maybe sugar. That's all there is to it. The best peanut butter for your dog, and you too for that matter, is the one with the shortest ingredient list. Dr. Dressler also notes that added fats and sugars feed cancers and are best avoided whenever possible. So this is all to say that you should upgrade to a better peanut butter if you haven't already. When a peanut butter is made of only peanuts, by the way, and no fillers, it has this highly concentrated peanut flavor that's going to send your pup over the moon. Trust me, you're not going to need as much as you do of the cheap stuff, and your dog will be thrilled and healthier. A good example of a really pure peanut butter is Teddy Brand, my old favorite. When I use this kind to give my Lily a pill, I don't even need to coat the whole pill. I just put a dab on the spoon and stick the pill to it. DIY peanut butter for your dog and you. I can't resist adding this amazing peanut butter recipe from the Taste of Home website. Basically, all you do is put peanuts and salt in your food processor and zoop it up until it, well, until it looks like peanut butter. So you take two cups of unsalted dry roasted peanuts, a half a teaspoon of salt, and if you want, a tablespoon of honey. Start by placing the peanuts and the salt in your food processor. Process it for about five minutes or until it looks the way you like it, scraping down the sides with your spatula as needed. Now, if you prefer a super smooth, creamy peanut butter, you wanna process it for a little longer. If you like a chunky peanut butter, process it a little less. Can you believe it's that simple? Then anyway, you put it into a clean jar. It doesn't need to go into the refrigerator, but it will keep better if you do and have less chance of separating. If it does separate though, just stir it back together with a spoon. So over at greyhoundhomecare.com, I have links for all the resources I read to create this video, including the one about the DIY peanut butter. I enjoy reading every one of these. Who would have thought that peanut butter could be so interesting? Well, besides Lily, of course. Dr. Dressler's podcast about dog cancers is an amazing resource. A good primer on the dangers of xylitol. Some damage control from the National Peanut Board. And that full article about the homemade peanut butter with photos. Say, are you in Greyhound mode? Let the world know with this great sticker over at the Greyhound Home Care store linked below. And I'll see you next time on the Greyhound Home Care channel.